Richard Utree. Nothing was proved. <laughs> and this is Greg James. Hello, Richard. <laughs> Perfect. Just follow my leader in safe hands. Yep. This is the part of the show oh. where you hear straight talking from straight people. It's a plain speaking platform where you can say what you want, as long as it's what we want and not what you want, because we don't want that. <laughs> This week, in the latest example of woke PC nonsense, Disney are changing the lyrics to The Little Mermaid's Kiss the Girl due to concerns about consent. What do you make of that, Greg? Well, I, it's good to include everyone, isn't it? Off the auto cue. <laughs> <laughs> Just there. Well, Thank you. I, 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 in truth, Richard, the, <laughs> <laughs> the, whole, the whole thing makes you want to vomit. Correct. These bastard cinema wankers. <laughs> Won't be happy till a man can only approach a woman if he's wearing a full-sized... <laughs> a full human-sized condom. <laughs> and instead of kiss the girl, they probably want the song to be called Don't You Dare So Much As Shake Hands With The Non-Binary Pansexual Tofu. <laughs> <laughs> keep going, yes, keep going. Non-binary pansexual tofu fisting sphincter polishing without full written consent. <laughs> <laughs> and you know who they'll replace the crab with? Jeremy Corbyn! <laughs> Say it how it is, Greg. Say it how it is. I love you. Next, Jim Davidson. Oh, God, God save our gracious king. <laughs> <laughs> Look set for his fifth divorce. Your thoughts on that, Greg? Well, well you know... Off the autocue. Whatever makes Jim, Jim happy. Off the autocue. <laughs> Ladies, form an orderly queue. Britain's most eligible bachelor is back on the market! Oy. But I think I've got the perfect partner for him. A, sh <laughs> a shy, blushing English rose by the name of Katie Hopkins. Oy, oy! Jim could invite her round to watch his old snooker TV shows. <laughs> then she can teach him how to pot the pink. Oh, lovely stuff! <laughs> I, Greg James, would personally love to watch them banging as hard as we should be banging our doors. <laughs> Closed to asylum seekers. <laughs> correct, correct. By which I mean banging very hard indeed. Yes! <laughs> Stirring stuff there, Greg. Clearly something you feel very, very passionate about. Absolutely, yes. Yes. Finally, Europe. <laughs> <laughs> and French politician Marlène Schepper has been criticised for posing for Playboy. What do you say to that, Greg? Well, you know, everyone's allowed to do whatever they want. Oh, to you, um... please. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what do you okay. expect? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what do you expect from the French, Richard? They're a bunch of garlic sucking cheese fondlers <laughs> who only put their baguettes down when it's time to part their ass cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> do continue, do continue, Greg. <clears throat> and receive a rogering from good old Adolf Hitler. <laughs> but, but if I, oh, for <laughs> but it'll, it'll be over soon, Greg. Sure. <laughs> I know it will. <laughs> <laughs> but if I open my copy of the Spectator magazine to see a Tory minister sprawled on the sun deck of a ferry to Rwanda, wearing nothing but a Union Jack G-string, so what? and a smile, my patriotic penis would instantly swell to its full length of 0.5 inches. <laughs> and that's imperial, Richard, not metric. Yes! <laughs> I'll be honest, Greg, I wasn't expecting you to come out with that. It's the real me! <laughs> that was straight talking, and those were 100% the views of Greg James and me, Richard Utree. Nothing was proved. Now back to the disgusting Joe Lightett. <laughs>